On today's show, Chevy shows off what the new Silverado looks like, BMW is the latest automaker to dive into solid state batteries, and there sure is something strange going on at General Motors. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily, the show for those of you who support the automotive industry. Electric car proponents believe that solid-state batteries could represent a breakthrough for BEVs. Earlier this year, Toyota revealed that it's developing solid-state batteries for electric vehicles. And now, it's BMW's turn. Reuters reports that BMW just formed a partnership with the U.S. battery company Solid Power, which makes solid-state batteries, and they should be safer, provide longer range, and faster recharging. Uh Uh-oh, we just learned that Tesla was under investigation from the Securities and Exchange Commission due to the company, and I quote here, making false statements of material fact or failing to disclose material facts concerning the company's Model 3 vehicle. Tesla had to turn over a ton of documents, including the names and credit card numbers of customers who pre-ordered the Model 3. The SEC did not take any action, and it told Tesla that the investigation is closed, but it also warned Tesla that it could come after it again. And the company is being criticized for not revealing the investigation to shareholders. Hey, don't forget to tune in to AutoLine After Hours this Thursday for our annual Presence and Coal show, where we pick who in the auto industry has been naughty and who has been nice. Join me and Gary Vasilash for some of the most fun there is in covering the automotive industry. Chevrolet took the wraps off the new Silverado, and we'll show you what it looks like right after this. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, advanced materials that deliver better results. And by Lear, a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems. Automakers like to brag that women are an important part of their team, but some car companies do a better job than others of walking the talk. We took a look at how many women are on the boards of directors at different automakers, and the differences are shocking. In Asia, only Honda has any women on its board. In Europe, most countries have a quota. In France, the quota is for 40% women, but you can see Renault misses it by a mile, and PSA is still off the mark. In Germany, there's a 30% quota, but Daimler is still short of the goal. You know, the problem with quotas is once a company hits the quota, it declares victory and calls it a day. And look at that. General Motors is the only automaker in the world that has a board of directors that is equally divided between men and women. To prevent European automakers from cheating on emission tests, the EU just agreed on a new system for approving emissions, safety, and other criteria before cars can be sold to the public. The EU's member states will now have to check at least one in every 40,000 newly registered vehicles, and they'll have to test at least 500 models of various ages every year. 20% of those checks will be emission tests, and automakers will have to provide the car software protocols. A formal vote still needs to be held on this matter, but if it's approved, the deal would go into effect in late 2020. Chevrolet revealed the 2019 Silverado, which it says is all new from the ground up and will come with more engines and transmission combinations and more technology and convenience features. But since not much else was released, let's just take a look at the styling changes. We'll start at the back where the tailgate has a raised section with the name Chevrolet stamped into it, and the taillights now have a C-shape to them. A character line that starts in front of and just above the front door handle runs all the way into the bed, and the fender flares are less squared off and now flow into the bodywork. You'll also notice a small portion of the fender cuts into the headlamp assembly to separate the headlights from the turn signals. The grille and bumper are different from the current model, shown here on a Trail Boss Silverado, which comes with the off-road equipment of the Z71 package and a two-inch suspension lift. But we will not be surprised to see other designs for different trim levels. 
The Silverado makes its official debut at the Detroit Auto Show in just a couple of weeks. Hey, what the heck is going on at General Motors? There's something very weird going on over there, and that is coming up next. Lighter, safer, stronger, quieter, and more sustainable. Tell us where you need to go, and we'll help you get there. Dow Automotive Systems. We don't succeed unless you do. You know, there's something really weird going on at General Motors. Two years ago, Fiat Chrysler fired a guy named Al Iacobelli, its chief labor negotiator. And this happened just weeks before FCA was supposed to settle a new union contract with the UAW. FCA never said anything about why it fired Iacobelli. And then earlier this summer, federal prosecutors charged Iacobelli with stealing over a million dollars in union training money. This is where it gets weird. Six months after FCA fired Iacobelli, General Motors hired him. Now, this was before the federal charges were filed against him. And yet, when the charges became public, GM would neither confirm nor deny that it hired him. Only last week did GM announce that, yeah, it fired Iacobelli, but that leaves a lot of questions. Did FCA ever warn GM that Iacobelli was someone they should not hire? Did GM ever ask Iacobelli why FCA fired him? Why would GM neither confirm nor deny it hired Iacobelli when it was known he was there? Doesn't GM owe its shareholders an explanation why its UAW VIBA director Joe Ashton had to resign from GM's board of directors? This is an ongoing investigation, so that may explain why no one's talking so far. But one thing is for sure, General Motors, Fiat Chrysler, and the UAW sure have some splaining to do. Anyway, that brings us to the end of today's report. Thanks for watching, and please join us again tomorrow.